Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. My Life Today, a devotional by Ellen White. August 26th, Relieve the Oppressed. God's command to love each other is required of everyone. Showing mercy to one another mirrors his redemptive plan. In compassion he has given of his love that is divine. On the cross, sins were forgiven. Joy and peace are fully thine. Relieve the oppressed. Learn to do well. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widow. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 17. Jesus The precious Savior, the pattern man, was firm as a rock where truth and duty were concerned, and his life was a perfect illustration of true courtesy. Kindness and gentleness gave fragrance to his character. He had ever a kind look and a word of comfort and consolation for the needy and oppressed. When you meet those who are careworn and oppressed, who know not which way to turn to find relief, put your hearts into the work of helping them. It is not God's purpose that his children shall shut themselves up to themselves, taking no interest in the welfare of those less fortunate than themselves. Remember that for them, as well as for you, Christ has died. Conciliation and kindness will open the way for you to help them, to win their confidence, to inspire them with hope and courage. Let not men allow their business dealing to rob them of their humanness. Kind words, pleasant looks, a condescending demeanor are of great value. There is a charm in the intercourse of men who are truly courteous. How restoring and uplifting the influence of such dealing upon men who are poor and depressed, borne down to the earth by sickness and poverty. Shall we withhold from them the balm that such dealing brings? Every act of justice, mercy, and benevolence makes melody in heaven. The Father from his throne beholds those who do these acts of mercy and numbers them with his most precious treasures. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels. Every merciful act to the needy, the suffering, is regarded as though done to Jesus. When you succor the poor, sympathize with the afflicted and oppressed, and befriend the orphan, you bring yourselves into a closer relationship to Jesus. My Life Today, August 26th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.